Welcome to another adventure. Hardy Rupan here, the man in the wild. In today's adventure, we are going to try to clear our way up this river. Stay tuned. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Today, we will be journeying up the Guapo River. The Guapo River is one of the main rivers in the Point Fortin area. It takes almost all of the drain and ravine waters out of the village areas. If the flow of this river is obstructed, then most of the surrounding villages will flood during the rainy season. Although the Guapo River is very narrow in its width, its depth makes up for the volume of water it removes from the village area. It can go as much as 20 feet deep in certain areas. From time to time, trees on the edge of the riverbank may fall across the river. These can cause major obstruction as various branches and objects flowing down the river gets caught in them, causing a blockage. This blockage not only prevents me from kayaking up the river, but will also create flooding problems during the rainy season. During the dry season, while I'm kayaking up this river, I always try to clear the major blockages so we can prevent some flooding during the rainy season. Like this tree that has fallen across the river with some of its branches down under the water. This is a black mangrove tree, one of the toughest wood that you can find in Trinidad. I have set the camera on a tripod so I could record my progress. I have also sped up the video so you don't have to sit through the entire thing. A project like this will take me a while. The clearing of this black mangrove tree not only prevents flooding in the rainy season, but will also give me the opportunity to travel upriver to show you the hidden beauty and secrets of the Guapo River. It is important for me to separate the small branches from the main stalk. We do not want these small branches in the water as it will create other problems with clogging as it drifts down the river. Whereas on the other hand, the main stock will not create a problem if it sinks down to the riverbed, as barnacles and oysters usually grow on it, creating habitat for other animals, such as crabs and fish. And although it just takes a few minutes of viewing time for you to see the entire process, it did actually take me about three afternoons to clear this fallen tree. My progress at the end of the first afternoon. Black mangrove have one of the toughest trunk that I know, and it takes a while to cut through it. Especially using these simple hand tools that I have. Keeping in mind, the river is about 15 feet deep where I am. It is the end of the second afternoon. My simple cutlass and handsaw is about all the tools that I'm using. I am not a lumberjack and I'm not going to try using a power saw while sitting on a kayak in a river this deep. These tough branches of the black mangrove will sink to the riverbed and create habitat for the creatures that live here. Although it means I have to cut more, I prefer separating the different branches and let them sink to the riverbed to create habitat rather than cutting them all together and letting them create obstructions. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. It's the end of the third evening. It's going to take me another afternoon to cut the big trunk. I have to ensure that we get an extra low tide 
to make sure the trunk is properly exposed for me to work on it. You can hear the kingfishers happily chirp in as they catch fish in the distance. The tide is sufficiently low this afternoon for me to complete cutting the main trunk of the black mangrove tree. I tried to lift this log out of the water, but it was way too dense. My kayak and I would have joined it at the riverbed. Now what remains is the secondary tree and its branches that is submerged under the water. Once I have this area cleared, the river will be much easier to traverse and the water will be able to flow much more freely. After four afternoons of work, the blockage has been cleared. I can now take you on a little journey to explore the upper regions of the Guapo River. There's a drop of water on my camera lens. It will soon clear off. This is just a peek at the beauty that lies up the Guapo River. In another video, I will take you on one of my crab catching adventures up this river. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to follow me for more adventures on this river. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Clearing the blockage allowed this branch to drift all the way down to the seashore and not get caught in the blockage.